Welcome to the tutorial featuring the cheats on how to use CamDraw. Today, we will not be using this software called Cheat Engine. So let us close it. What we need is just CamDraw alone. That's all. The first trick to note is actually customizing your user interface. All you need is to drag the header of the toolbar to the place you want and drop it. If, you, if it is stuck onto a place, just drag the top and just move it around. Like that, you can actually customize your user interface so that you can work faster. Most of the time, you will need to work with your plan. So now, press window and cascade. Drag it to the preferred length and height. Press a new document and put it on the other side so that you can work on two documents simultaneously. This is your actual work. There are times where you do not know what the structure looks like. Now, you press structure, convert name to structure. For example, now I need glucose and I just type it in, press enter and there you go. This is glucose. If you want other substance, you can just do, do it like that. Methane. And yes, there you go. This will also work for atoms. Hydrogen. To get the IUPAC name of the molecule, select the structure. Press structure, convert structure to name. This is glucose, by the way, and this is the name. Select the molecule from structure to name, and there you go. If you want to move a particular thing vertically or horizontally, select the thing with your lasso tool and move it while holding the shift key. This will give a perfectly vertical or horizontal movement. If you want to copy, hold down control and drag the thing you want. If you want to copy horizontally or vertically, hold down control and shift together and just drag it. But do be careful not to select extras. Deleting can never be made easier. All you need to do is to use the lasso tool here, circle it, and press delete. If you want to delete a part of a molecule, circle it, circle the part you want, delete it, and you are done. And sometimes, you only need to delete a small part. So what you do, hover your mouse onto the screen, and press delete. You do not need to click anything. Delete. Yes, just like that. Delete. If you wish to draw a bond, go to the bond tool and draw on the atoms you want. Just click it, click it, click it. For example, hexane will be like that. If you wish to draw a double bond, hover your cursor onto the bond. Press 2 for double, 3 for triple, and 4 for quadruple bonds. And if you want to draw a pentane, press 5, or a hexane, press the bond, and 6. Here you go. Aero chemistry in ChemDraw is made much easier. All you need to do is go to Structure Perspective. If you want to visualize an atom, and you can rotate it however you want. If you want to rotate along the X axis or the Y axis, hold down Shift and rotate. It will rotate in the place you want. If you wish to add substituents, hover your cursor onto the 
atom you want and press the letter you wish. For example, in this case, I'm adding N. Or you can select the bonds you wish to add and press down the letter you want, N. Sometimes put using a shift key would help. For example, pressing a shift N will give you sodium and N alone will give you a nitrogen. A S will give you sulfur, shift S will give you silicon and stuff like that. Adding a charge is easy. Just hover your cursor onto the atom you wish and press shift plus to add a charge. Do it again to give a 2 plus and do it again to give a 3 plus. If you want to reduce a charge, just press minus to reduce, minus, 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 and minus to reduce a charge. Simple. In the event you are stuck on your stereochemistry tutorial, just right click on the atom you want and press show stereochemistry. And this will give you the R and S configuration of what you need. Simple. For specific bonds, you may want to click and drag to the places you want, like that. W for wedge, and H for hashes, D for dash, and there you go. You can do your stereochemistry with all this. In this case, I, Br, CL, and this is an R configuration. A lot of times, we tend to make a big mess out of our own work. So all you need to do is just select whatever you need and press Ctrl Shift X or Structure Cleanup Reaction. Then select the molecule you wish to clean up. Structure Clean Up Structure. Or you can simply press Ctrl, Shift, and K. You might want to do this a few times to make it look better. Do the same for the rest of the products. And you are good to go. Hectrolysis is really easy. Just move this over, copy, or Ctrl, Shift, put your arrow, add your fragment, use your fragmentation to split this up. Lasso 2, hover this and press delete, hover, delete, select everything, Control shift x to clean up your reaction, and there you go. There are times where you need to draw a transition state, so draw up the bonds, a bond here, a bond here, wedges, hashes, dashes, dashes. Select everything, right click, add frame brackets, and you add your double dagger here. Okay, now what you need to do is to select this atom properties, abnormal valence allow, and you are done. There are times where you just want to make things look better. Select your molecule, right click, add frame, around that rectangle, deselect everything, click on the rectangle, and change your color. Don't forget to shade it, shade it, and send it to the back. If you want to do a rectangle on an overview, just zoom out, select drawing tools, and select rectangle. Color your rectangle onto the whole thing. Back to your lasso tool. Select the rectangle and change your color. Send it to the back and you are good to go. If you want to add a few templates, go to this tool and add the stuff you need. For example, I want a test tube rack with test tubes and it will be here. Select your tool and move it accordingly. This is mainly up to your imagination to make it look better. Under certain circumstances, you need to save it as a picture. So go to File, Save As, 
Select the extension you want. In this case, we will be using JPEG image. Press it and click save. There will be a warning here, but just press OK and you can view it as an image file. Using CamDraw is just amazing and how your work looks is just limited to your own creativity. Here are some examples from alcohol metabolism, HIV infections, human insulin, and basically you can create almost anything. Thank you.